Yo, what's good, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters Review. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, then you already know what it is and what it always will be. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell somebody to tell somebody all that good stuff if you choose to. If not, just sit back, relax, and we're going to get right into this messy, messy, messy thing. Um... <laughs> This is a trailer breakdown for season seven, episode four, and the title is Death Becomes Them. Now, I believe this title is fitting for what has taken place at this law firm. Now, we see Jordan and he stops by the office to see Andy. And as they go in to embrace or either kiss, Andy, you know, cuts her eyes over towards Hayden's office and she sees him staring at them. I said, Hayden... Hey then, baby, you just need some love in your life because you're obviously missing Tamara. You back on this thing of trying to get people and hurt people and destroy people. And I don't like that for you, sir. You were doing so well. You were petty as hell. Still kind of a menace, but I was beginning to like you. I still do, but I can already see what's going to happen. So Hayden is on the phone with Gary. And what happens is, first of all, this has been such an eventful day at this law firm. All right. The feds have raided it. Mr. Leland, I'm going to assume, passes away from a heart attack. Gary is on the phone with Hayden trying to decipher what's going on. Is Hayden going to help him with him possibly going down for fraud, Ponzi schemes, embezzlement, and everything else Gary is probably involved in? So I'm assuming with the passing of Mr. Leland, there is a managerial position that opens up at the law firm that both Hayden and Andy want. So as we see Hayden on the phone with Gary, he basically wants to make a deal. I'll keep you out of federal prison if you help me destroy Andy Barnes. I said, well, wait a minute. Destroy? Destroy? That's a bit harsh, Hayden, even for you. <laughs> Why are you trying to destroy Andy? I'm like, but let's just be clear. Andy does enough to destroy her own life. She brings enough calamity by doing some of the craziest things. You ain't got to destroy her. She could do that on her own. You don't need to, you know what I'm saying, interfere with what Andy is doing to her own self. But I was like, dang, hate and destroy. That's a bit much. Now we see Sabrina. Sabrina is at work. And this little chick clears her throat as she walks past Sabrina. Now I'm going to tell you, that little smart mouth a caucasoid woman I don't like her yes I called her caucasoid mm -hmm. I don't like her now there is a scene that I didn't include in this but the extended trailer really wasn't any different than too much different than this one however there is an opening that's gonna be available at the bank that both Sabrina and this young lady want to go out for they both want to apply for it and the supervisor tells them you know made the best woman win I am not interested in watching workplace conflict with Sabrina and this caucasoid because I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty much a calm person for the most part, but anytime white women start the white woman and start Caucasianing, I have a problem and I don't have a lot of tolerance for that because it will really be, Oh, you want to make this a hostile environment? We can make it there because I will literally beat your ass and fire myself. I don't have time. I don't have time, and I don't want to see Sabrina go back and forth with this white chick. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's what we're on the verge of seeing, and I can already tell y'all my mouth going to be super slick because I already can't stand this. I already can't stand it when they feel like they deserve the position without really putting the work forth, or they deserve to have certain managerial spots and management because, uh, because I'm white. I don't want to make it about race, but, you know, for those of us who are black and we're women, we're in corporate America. Even if you're not in corporate America, we know how this train works. And it's going to have my blood pressure for the most part. <laughs> but moving along, Tenderoni Trey stops by the salon yet again. This is the same day. So he leaves and comes back. And I'm like, sir, how many times you going to stop at Karen's Fresh Start? But I don't blame you because you obviously like what you see. But it made me think about what Pam uh, told Karen that the <laughs> that the bull semen was not refundable. She could not send it back. 
So it made me wonder if that's the reason that Tenderoni Trey has stopped by. I'm not 100% sure, but I am so incredibly interested as to re- as the reason why he's back in Karen's presence. I'm also keeping a tab to see just how long it takes him to make a play on Karen. Meaning, how long is it going to take him to ask her out on a date or start bringing little niceties like lunch or flowers or little, you know, thinking of you mementos? Because I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I'm just going to see just how long, you know, Tenderoni Trey tries to, you know, play this thing down. It's coming. It's coming. And I'm super interested in seeing Karen's response to his advances. We see Fatima um, as she walks into Hayden's office and she picks up a file from his desk and she basically asks him, like, you know, what you working on? And I'm like, Fatima, before I get to that, she tells Hayden that she is fully aware of the things that he's trying to do and she's on to him. I said, Fatima, baby girl, I need you to get you some business. I need you to get you some business because all your business is putting out fires for the people in your life. And you are more than that. You are more than that. I need Fatima to get some business of her own. Now, I'm going to take a little pause right quick Um, because I said every time I'm just going to let y'all know because y'all going to get tired of me. Some of y'all. But I just want y'all to know every time I talk about a Fatima scene or when she pops up in my reviews, I'm going to do what a lot of y'all did to me. Under my comment section, before Karen starts showing, where's her baby bump? When's she going to show? I ain't seen no baby bump. I don't think Karen is pregnant. I think it's all in her mind. She's too small to have a baby. Oh, my God. I can go on and on with the comments that I've received. Well, it's my turn to return the favor. So where the hell is Fatima's baby bump? Ain't this chick three months pregnant? Fatima's still drinking wine. Fatima's still trying to be body, body, ride ride no limit soldier. I thought a soldier. She trying to be that. But where's her baby bump? I'm going to say that every time I do a review when it comes to Fatima. Every single time. So just get used to it. But I want, <laughs> but honestly, I want Fatima to get some business. I want her to have something for herself. And it has been such a long time in which we have seen that happen because she's always putting out fires for Andy. She's putting out fires all the time for Zach. She invests so much of herself in these two people. And I'm thinking, why? Because they don't do it for you. And I hate this for her. I, I really do. I hate this for her. But this is the path and the journey that she, that she has chosen. So rightfully so, we're going to move along. Now we see uh, Penelope. She is in Gary's office. She's going through his files. And she obviously finds something that she deems as important. And when she finds this document, she calls Andy. And I'm thinking, what did this woman find? Gary is so diabolical. I just want her to get away from him. Because Gary has the mindset to do whatever it is he has to do to maintain his freedom. I don't put anything past Satan, Lucifer Gary. I just don't. He's that evil of an individual and even though I am loving I'm loving this villain story I'm loving the way that he is turning into the villain of the show realistically but Gary is just one of those people I don't want to see a man put his hands on a woman beat up on a woman and Gary definitely gives that energy but we're gonna see come next Wednesday what happens I'm excited I do like how the writers are writing the new season of sisters. I know some people have to get used to the pace and everything like that, but I am here for it. I definitely like the forward progression, the forward movement that we're seeing. So I want to thank you guys for listening until next time. Thank you to all the new subscribers, everyone who comments. I appreciate you. Everyone who tunes in every Wednesday night to our sisters, keep it with me and Erica on her YouTube uh, channel. It is greatly appreciated until next time. I will holler at y'all later and y'all be safe out there. One.